Good morning, it is a brand new day. I'm currently holding down the store on the weekend and I've got the Blue Eddy AC200 running my daiquiri machine because it is summer weather and people are craving some cold drinks. Let me show you how this thing's performing. So currently I've got a power bank and also that daiquiri machine that's plugged up into it and it is drawing about 1,018, 1,019 watts of power. I started off at 90% and it's already down to 74%, but it's because that machine takes a lot of energy. But you gotta think that this is all energy that I've managed to draw from the sun, so it's free energy. The daiquiri machine is over here. Let me show you what it looks like. And this is it. Right now I just got one side running. We started this out yesterday and give it another run today. Charging about $6.99 for a 20 ounce cup of this slush. And I think it'll be profitable. People are gonna be buying liquor to mix with it too. So I just kicked it down into the low just setting here so that it doesn't freeze up now. And now it's going to be drawing a little bit less energy because the top of it, it looks like it's kind of slushed up. So because I kicked it into a loader set and it's only drawn 240 watts of power. So it's really when it's freezing up that it takes like four times more energy. Now since I have the Blue Eddy EB70, I can also use that in the low setting, so that's what I plan to do. I'm gonna put the EB70 out to get some power from the sun, and when it's on the low setting, I'll just kick that on and keep it running all day. You know, I gave this a uh, test run about three or four months ago when I had the other machine before it broke on me, and it was good, but I made the mistake of leaving it on all night and the motors just fried up, so I'm not gonna make that mistake with this machine this time. Okay, so I just brought this guy back in after being in the sun for a few hours, and it's got about 60% of a charge on there. So, that's good to know. Right now I got my AC200 with four panels out there charging up. There's my car over there. It's collecting some energy from the sun. And it's kind of cloudy today. Got some breaks in the sky here and there, but for the most part, it's nice weather. All right, see all the ice crystal forming on the side of there? I got it powered up onto this machine right here. It's drawing 123 at the low setting. And that's pretty much my thoughts of using the solar and the small EB70 with the AC200, kind of just flip-flopping it throughout the day and getting my power running to the generator, making sure that everything's running good and I'm saving some electricity with this daiquiri machine running. I think that's the biggest part of having a daiquiri machine in a liquor store is the electricity part, you know? You're gonna be pumping electricity into this machine like a thousand watts or down to like 200 watts when it's just on chill mode. I'm really beginning to understand how much money that this solar generator is actually saving me in the long run because this is electricity that I'd have to be paying for anyways for things like keeping my laptop charged, keeping my phone charged, keeping things around the store charged. And thank you for tuning in to my thoughts of this Blue Eddy situation to power this liquor store. You know, you just gotta have a lot of different kinds of things going in this liquor store. Things that make this place a one-stop shop. And going on to the sixth year, <laughs> Rosa, <laughs> chill out. Going on to the sixth year, we're having a lot of fun here running the store and just making it happen. Hustling, grinding. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah.